She's in San Bernardino live there with some more information for us. Emily, what can you tell us? I'm live here in Santa Bernardino, uh, excuse me, San Bernardino, and this is a center. I'm going to just show you real quick. This is where uh, all the evacuees, all the people that have worked in that office building are being loaded onto buses and they're being taken over here. It's a, at a park, it's a community center, and inside they're being reunited with their families. Uh, we have tons of media over here from all over the world. And what else we have? We have a lot of loved ones waiting for their family members, many of whom they have not heard from. And right now I have with me Ryan Reyes, and you're waiting for your boyfriend. You don't, when was the last time you talked to him? Uh, the last time I talked to him, he actually sent me a picture at 11.39 via text message, which is, I'm assuming, when he was on lunch. Um, and that was the last that anybody has heard from him. Um, his coworkers haven't heard from him. Uh, the program that he is a part of is actually run by Pathways, which is separate from the IRC in a separate building. And none of them have heard from him either. Nobody's been able to get him. So you don't know if he was was he in the building where the shooter was targeting? Um, he was in the conference center, yes, but I don't know if he was actually within the building when it happened or if he was outside. outside. Okay. Um, none of that's known okay. right now at the moment. You don't know that. Mm -hmm. so, um, so did he text you the picture uh, before the active shooter came in, correct? Correct, okay. correct, and it actually had nothing to do with anything it was just a random picture that you know oh hey thinking about you type picture and all right well blast. we uh we do hope of course that you know he's okay and um our thoughts are with you as well um and i'll be in touch so we can know what happened so that's that's what's happening here in san bernardino right now a lot of people waiting to be reunited with their loved ones and i've spoken with other people as well who um can't get a hold of them. You know, maybe they just dropped the phone and were evacuated. We just don't know at this point. So I'm live in San Bernardino. Back to you.